Hey, in today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, the wheel spacers I just got for my 2025R. I'm not gonna show you the install process because everybody's done that. Um, I'll take some video of before the tractor before and after, and then I have a job with the tractor tomorrow. I'll do some follow up on how the tractor handles with and without the wheel spacers. I am gonna use blue Loctite on all of the bolts and torque them to spec. Okay, so here's the width before, very narrow. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and install them. Okay, you can see now that's the right side done. And I torqued everything to 100 pounds and that's the left side, not done yet. If I back up, you can see how much wider it's going to make it. These are two-inch spacers. Um, I only had inch and a quarter on my 1025, but this one just is taller, so I went to two. Okay, I want to show you a little trick I just figured out because my tires are loaded. They're really heavy. So what I did was I used the jack to line up the center circle in the rim, get it just about where it is, just a smidge higher. And then I took a pry bar, put it under the tire and just pried up. And I was able to get the, the lug bolts in and started and tightened. But I also want to show you a mistake I made. You'll see there, nice looking John Deere wheel bolts. When I was rushing earlier to do the first side, I did it backwards and, and I put the wrong I put the ones that came with the spacers outside and the ones from John Deere inside so I have to take this one off and do it again that's what I get for rushing now it didn't say in the directions it does say to use their hardware and I guess I should have figured that out but just in case you're adding wheel spacers I wanted you to see my mistake so hopefully you don't make it okay here's what it looks like now that both wheel spacers are in so it's four inches wider than it was before. I'm anxious to use it now because it was a little unstable before. And there, that side I already showed you I did right. And I've redone this side now so that it's in there correctly. I put blue Loctite on the bolts holding the spacer to the hub and I put blue Loctite on the wheel bolts and I did torque them to 100 pounds. Uh, I learned something because I'm not quick to go to a torque wrench. I usually just use my impact gun. And I found several of them that I thought would have been tight enough that were, were not even close. So I'll be torquing these wheels from now on. Just a little tip. So since I have filmed this video, I've had a chance to try the tractor with the wheel spacers on it. I have a job that I'm in the middle of doing down at the end of my road and there's a there's a hill that I'm dealing with and the other day when I was down there working I wasn't comfortable driving across the hill with the tractor I just didn't feel like it was stable enough and I felt like it may go over so I didn't so today I went down and did some more work down there and I was able to very comfortably and confidently drive straight across those hills with uh, with no problems at all. So it, <laughs> it's made the tractor a lot more stable, which is very, really good because up until now, um, I've been a little leery of it, a little unsure in some of the situations I've been into. Uh, I felt like it's a little unstable and there's been times it's actually scared me, but that seems to all be gone now that I put the wheel spacers on there. So that's all for this video. I, uh, I thank you for watching it, and I will see you next time.